YouTubers, Anthony Mambazi from Antec Technical Services. Coming back to you with our favorite installations, solar systems. Today we are surprising you with a parallel system in, in conjunction with a Matala Energy project. Electrical are the owners of the project here. We are in collaboration with Antec. And we have just finished installing two 5 SNA uh, Lux powers with two CFE batteries and 10 panels, four, five, five, divided into five pair string. So we still got extra string more to use. Let's just go through the process together. So here we have our master inverter and our slave inverter giving us a double take of two fives, giving us a 10 kilowatt system, 10 kVA system to be corrected. And then we have uh, each inverter has a fuse disconnector, 160 amp with uh, fuses in there as well, at 160 as well, 125, sorry. And both uh, systems are online. And the parallel system, we have four network cables. So we have our master inverter uh, battery cable for communicating with the battery, Ken. Then we have parallel one, parallel two. So parallel one, when the master goes to parallel two on the slave, and then parallel two on the master goes to parallel one, on the inverter at the bottom there. And we have configured them online so that they can communicate, push, and meet together at some point. I will show you just now. We also have a battery combiner box here with complements to SolarWise, nice boxes they have in store. And that is our setup from fuse disconnector to combiner box, combiner box to batteries, and we've still got space for more batteries. And uh, I think it's a nice box, very safe. And then we have our CFE batteries. CFE batteries, and that's your... I'll hold and pause for a few seconds. And that's basically the setup on a CFE when you have two batteries in place. And uh, compliments again to SolarWise, they've got a new box, an auto distribution box. Um, mind the wiring, <laughs> but I will try to explain. So we have an auto changeover switch they've put on the new system. And then they have an output or from the both inverters that goes through an AV protection. Uh, every protection uh, unit, you can adjust the current draw out of this so that if it draws over this unit, um, 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 switches off. And then we have on this section here where our ESCOM comes in here through the SPD, through the protection, we also adjust the current levels going through it to the inverter. And then we have here... Um, to the inverter input as well. We've got our auto changeover switch up there. We've got our loads going out to the inverter. And there's, it's called a diagram as well that's on the side to assist. And then we've also got some Phoenix connectors that represent our pilot lamps there. And then up here, I just need to get the, uh, the key. <laughs> So it's securely protected. Let me just find the key for the bus. Um, I just wanted to show you what the uh, insides of this thing looks like, but I don't seem to find the key. Um, anyways, that's your combiner box for SolarWise. Uh, it's a two in, two out string. So basically, this is what I wanted to share with you. This morning we were busy with the SRNE 5 kilowatt. 
it took us half a day and we were just finalizing up this uh, home installation here in uh, broad acres four ways well youtubers as always is always exciting to share information before i go yes 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 so we've got our bonding cables here six mil cable bonding cable batteries everything related here must be bonded so we have zero potential so nobody gets electrocuted well youtubers anthony mambazi you can catch me on 0823427946 0823427946 signing out goodbye